The lesson today that we're going to go over is symmetry. So symmetry is basically where an image or an object or something that when you transform it, it looks the same. So you can rotate it, you can divide it in half. We'll talk about the different kind of symmetries where the top and the bottom looks the same, where the left and the right looks the same. So one of the um, symmetries we're going to talk about is rotational symmetry. So I have some examples here of some words. So if you look at this word, let's get this word first. Noon. Noon, right. So, rotational symmetry would be if you rotate it, so in this case, we'll, for this example, we'll do 180 degrees. So if I rotate it, what's it say? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yes. Okay. So that's an example of um, a rotational, uh, a word that has rotational symmetry. How about this one? Wow. So <laughs> right? Wow. Now, the thing about this one is, when you rotate it, for wow. this 180, wow. <laughs> wow, so this wow. one, the rotational symmetry in this case is an inversion, because when you rotate it, it's inverted. So it's still a regular word, it's not, not the exact same word, but it's a, different, it's a different word, but we call it a natural inversion, because you can rotate it, and <laughs> it's an existing word, existing letters without having to transform it or change it besides rotating it. Okay, so that is another example of a rotational, rotation symmetry. How about oh, this one? O, X. O, X, rotational symmetry. So if we, how, what, how would we rotate this where it would still be the same word? Yes, yeah, so instead of this way, we're going to rotate it this way. Oh, X. Ooh. Oh, X. Okay? Oh, X. So that's just oh, one of the things about symmetry is, um, in this case, is rotation. So the, the good, a really good example would be this one. So because as you rotate it 180 degrees, it's the exact same thing. So that's it with the rotational symmetry with a word. Now we're going to talk about reflection symmetry. So reflection symmetry, what, what do you think about when you hear the word reflection? It's like a mirror. Like a mirror, right. So with reflection symmetry, you'll have a line of symmetry that when you, when you put that line right in between it, you can see something, the same thing on both sides. So let's look at some examples of reflection symmetry. Let's try it with our rectangle. So both of you fold it and show me um, a line of symmetry. And then tell me what kind of symmetry it is. Okay, you've got one, you've got one, okay. All right, so do you hold it this way or this way? This way? Okay, and what kind of, so this is your line of symmetry right here. And what kind of line of symmetry is this? Vertical. Vertical. Good. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, you hold it this way or this way? Uh, this way? Yeah. Okay, so your line is right here. So this side, it's symmetrical because when you fold it, it's exactly the same. It matches or mirrors the other side. Mm -hmm. So yours, what kind of symmetry is this? Vertical. Vertical, right. So let's say for the same shape we fold it down this way. So this top and the bottom matches. What kind of symmetry is this? Horizontal. So what would so how many lines of symmetry so far have we found for this shape? Two. Two lines of symmetry, right. So some objects are going to have more than one line of symmetry. What about, we talked about rotational. So what would you say for this object, what kind of, does this have rotational symmetry? Yes. Yes? Show me an example. <laughs> Very good. So yeah, so with the rectangle, 
Okay, how many degrees would you say this rotation is? 90. This is 90. So it does not have a 90 degree rotational symmetry, but if you go all the way to 180, it, it has 180 degree rotational symmetry. Good, okay, so that's just showing how some of your different shapes have multiple lines of symmetry. So that's your shapes. Let's talk, let's look at um, some more examples. You'll see, you'll find that it's a lot of symmetry in objects. So even all of our cookie cutters, right? All of these is a very simple line of symmetry. What kind of symmetry does this one have? What do we call that? Mm -hmm. Vertical. And you say this one has horizontal too? No. No, right? Because the uh, wings on the top and the bottom wouldn't match. Oh, I thought they were the same. Right, yeah. How about this one? What kind of symmetry would this one have? Another vertical. Right? Is that it? Did you think that was diagonal? Yeah, diagonal. Wait a second. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so if you go from That's pretty much point this. Right. Like that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And how about Mr. Teddy Bear? <gasps> right, another vertical line of symmetry. Good. Let's do a quick one with some numbers. Can you tell me if this number has horizontal, vertical, or rotational symmetry or no symmetry? It does. <laughs> we start with the lower. Horizontal. All. Yes. Yes. It just says all. You say all. all. Right. So we've got horizontal, vertical, and rotational. How about the number one all. in this one? No. No symmetry. Good. Yeah. Because if we take it in a half, we can't go vertically and we can't go rotationally. Yeah. No. Nope. Right. Mm, or is it only horizontal. Right. So this one here, we've got our horizontal. No. Agree. Right. No symmetry in that one. Well. Did not. Okay. Yeah. No. Right. I was thinking that. Not, not in this. Yeah. How about five? Yeah. Nope. Six? No. Right. This doesn't have. Could be a nine, though. This could have infer inversion. So if you talk about rotational symmetry with inversion, which is what the mom and the wild, this one would have the inversion for nine symmetry. Or a G. Or a G. None? None. None. And then, yeah, you mentioned the eight. Yeah. What kind of symmetry does eight have? Oh. Every right. single. Vertical, one. horizontal. Although it depends on the font. Yeah, and it depends, like, right, exactly. It depends on the font. Because what if you drew your eight like this? You know, some people draw it with a little circle yeah. and a big circle. Or. You know, uh, there's just different cursive, a uh, cursive eight maybe that wouldn't be symmetrical. So it all depends on what kind of what kind of font you use. Then um, another thing to think about with symmetry is if you ever are working in graphic design, so in the real world use, symmetry is something that's very it catches your eye and makes people feel comfortable when they see something symmetrical. So uh, there are a lot of logos out there in the business world that are symmetrical. Here's an example. What's this? Man. McDonald's. So do we see the symmetry in McDonald's? Yeah. Yes. Vertical. Okay, so that's McDonald's. I'll give you another example. Oh. Starbucks. Yeah. Do we see symmetry again? Yeah. Vertical. Vertical symmetry. 
So, so far McDonald's and Starbucks have vertical symmetry. Everything. Target, right. So, we're saying with Target, we've got vertical, horizontal, rotational. This is a familiar. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Vertical, very good. Yes, right there. Yep. Vertical. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know this way. Vertical symmetry, right? That's Honda. Yeah. It's a symbol for Honda. Bye. What kind of rotational symmetry? Vertical. Vertical, right? Good. Vertical famous tower. Yeah. Vertical. Good. So you'll see that a lot of logos have vertical and horizontal symmetry. It's just, it's pleasing to the eye. Now, another thing to think about is um, web design. So even with web design, your layouts are often symmetrical. So you've got a rectangle, rectangle, these two lines. So in this case, you've got vertical symmetry. It's just, when you look at it, just for the normal person, when you look at symmetry, it's just something that um, attracts you. Now, another th with nature, can you think of anything in nature that's symmetrical? A leaf. A leaf? Right, so if, right, okay. So sometimes a leaf. Can you think of anything that's symmetrical in nature? A blade of grass. <laughs> a blade of grass, yeah. How about a flower? When you draw a Christmas tree. Like a daisy. A perfect Christmas tree. A Christmas tree. I'm not good with nature. Oh, <laughs> a bird. <laughs> a bird. Like, I was like, like a it's like you got one eye and one eye, you get this black split. Okay. Like a split. So, oh, okay, so yeah. So if maybe. Like, it depends on the point of view, right? So, from the frontal point of view, if you're looking at it like this. <laughs> <laughs> you like my bird? <laughs> that, <one. laughs> that kind of a bird is symmetrical. Wings. Okay, well, if you have exact same wings, <laughs> they're, they're symmetrical. Oh, bird. Turkey? Yeah, symmetrical turkey. Yeah. Good. How about faces? My faces. Yeah. So take a take a look at this picture. My faces <laughs> There, it's not perfect symmetry, but. <laughs> Take a look at this. This is um, from my textbook. This was Edgar Allan Poe's face. And it's just showing, it's not perfect symmet symmetrical, but in general, you know, you have your eyes about same distance, your nose and your mouth. Your face is symmetrical. But if you, if you really try to make it symmetrical, then in this case, he superimposed half of his face onto the other half, right? And you'll see it looks very different. So our faces aren't perfectly symmetrical, but if you, maybe if you took some movie stars and you put them up and look, then you'll see that you what draws tell. the eye yeah. is symmetrical, symmetrical faces. Oh. Just something, um, just something to think about is symmetry, and then we talked a lot about symmetry in fonts. So here's some other examples I have where this is a website called scottkim.com. And he is famous for playing with fonts. So he, what he'll do is he'll take, so let's look at this one. He'll take a word and manipulate it in a special font. And he actually gets paid to do this. So if you look at this word, it says dance. 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 Right? Whoa, dance. So he found a way to write these letters in a special font. So he pulled down the C, made the E go down there, but when you turn it around, it's a D. So this is something, it's, it's like the kind of a special um, talent that he has. And here's another example. This one, he takes the word teach. Teach. Right. 
But if you take that mm. that font, the word teach, and if you look at in look at it in the mirror, the reflection. Learn. Right? Dude. So if you take he you did that with fonts. That's cool. So if you just play around with the font, play around with how to manipulate these letters. And then when you look at that word teach, the reflection says learn. Very neat. So there's just some really neat things you can do with with symmetry in the real world in if you go into advertising or if you go into web design or computer graphics. Any questions? <laughs>